Dance Dash and Mixed Reality is one of the coolest visuals I've seen. I wanted to do it myself, so I put together a tutorial for you to learn as well. First, let's talk about what you'll actually need to get this done. You'll need a VR headset and a pretty serious PC that can handle VR as well as the intensive resources the program Live requires. The developers of Live recommended these minimum specs here, which I'll put on screen, as well as leave a link in the description. I'll be using the Vive XR Elite, which is our all-in-one VR headset that can stream PC VR wirelessly, which is what allows us to play Dance Dash and move around freely. The Vive XR Elite is a lightweight headset that is great for any game where you're trying to break a sweat. So Dance Dash, of course, in Beat Saber. I'm talking to you. I'm also using the 3 plus 1 kit for the Vive Ultimate trackers, which allows me to track my feet in Dance Dash. Some people like to use their controllers as substitute trackers. Next, you'll need a camera that Liv can support. I'll be using the Sony FX30, which is a cinema camera. You can check out a list of cameras that the devs at Liv recommend, which I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description. <laughs> and you won't be able to create a mixed reality setup without a green screen. And I'll leave a link to the one I'm using in the description. But of course, any green screen will do, even if you have to tack a piece of green fabric to the wall. Think this will work? No, it won't. Any space you want to be in MR will have to be covered by a green screen or similar material. You can lay the sheet down like this on the floor. Although this could be challenging if you're playing a game like Dance Dash because the fabric will slide. Or you can get green screen puzzle pieces to cover your floor. And if you have carpet on your floor, I recommend getting these panels here to lay down and create a hard surface for stability, and then you can lay the puzzle pieces on top of that. And if you're using a webcam, you will not need this next piece of equipment. If you're using a DSLR or action camera to connect to the program we're using for mixed reality, you'll need a capture card. I'm using the Elgato Cam Link, but again, you can find a link to some capture cards, which I'll leave in the description. You'll also need an HDMI cable to connect your camera to your capture card. Next, let's take a look at the software you'll need. Hey buddy. The main program for mixed reality capture is Live. You'll want to download and install Live to your PC. Next, if you want to stream or record, I recommend using OBS. You'll want to download this as well. And of course, you'll need a compatible game. In my case, I'll be using Dance Dash to film in mixed reality. I downloaded the game off of the Vive Port store, which I'll leave a link in the description too. And before moving on to the setup, I want to address that having good lighting can create the best results for mixed reality. The better your green screen key, the better the footage will turn out. And I'll leave a link to the list of lights that I'm using in the description below. Here is roughly what my lighting setup looks like when it's all said and done. I also have an additional wide angle lens for my camera that allows me to capture more than you normally could with a normal lens. This is great for mixed reality as fitting your whole body into a small camera space can be quite challenging. I also bought LED floodlights in order to create some of the realistic lighting from the blue and red background, which I can easily lay on the floor next to my green screen setup. Now I know that was a lot of equipment and software to get through, but let's talk about how all this links together with a step-by-step -step guide next. Step number one is set up your green screen. First, start with setting up your green screen equipment. Make sure you have the green screen covering as much of the space within your camera's view as possible. Step two is to set up your camera. Set up your camera on a tripod, or if you're using a webcam, you'll want to set it up in a way that can see the green screen. Make sure your whole body is in frame and within the green screen so that you can get good quality footage. Set that framing up so that it looks something like this. Step number three is to set up your capture card. Set up your capture card if you have one. There are external capture cards and internal capture cards. External ones tend to be easier to navigate as you can unplug and replug them in easily, whereas internal ones are connected directly to your motherboard which is good in many cases, but can be a problem if you need to go back in there to adjust it or access the capture card. If you're using an external capture card, you can easily plug it into a USB port. I recommend a 3.0 USB port if you have one as they are higher speed. You'll know that they're 3.0 ports if they're blue. For internal capture cards, you'll have to hook it up directly to your motherboard where the input and output ports will be connected to the back of your PC. Next, you'll hook up your HDMI cable to your camera unless you have a webcam, and into your capture card. Step four is to connect your camera to Live. With the camera on, you can now launch Live. You can make an account or sign in as a guest. Depending on the headset you're using, you'll go to Mixed Reality Capture under that category. Click the big green button that says Start PC VR Mixed Reality Capture. Live may also ask you to install a driver, which in that case, you can say yes. Under the capture section, change your game to Dance Dash or whatever game that you're planning on filming in Mixed Reality and leave a 1920 by 1080 resolution. Next, you'll add a new camera profile, select the type in the drop-down menu, select your device, which would be the camera name or the capture card if you took that route, and then you wanna save. Step five is to calibrate your VR with Live. Next, launch the Steam VR library with your headset and trackers on. 
Open the main Steam VR menu to go to your monitor that has Live open. Then navigate to Live to the Calibration tab and select Begin Calibration from your headset. You'll also have to mark where your camera is so Live can understand where you are in 3D space. You'll then proceed to select four red dots in the corners of your space with the controller as well as set your latency. Keep changing the latency until you notice little to no lag time between your hands and the controllers. Step six is to launch Dance Dash or whichever game you're using. Once you're done calibrating, you can open Live, go to the Capture tab and click Sync and Launch. This will launch Dance Dash where you can follow further instructions and set up your trackers if you've not done so already. As a quick tip for the output tab, max out your resolution and change to 60 FPS to get a higher quality footage. If you want the whole stage to be taken up like mine is, you can also go to your camera tab, edit, and crop in the edges to match your green screen. Once you're done filming, you'll be able to edit it in an editing program or use it how it is. Step seven is our streaming and recording setup. Once everything is working live, you can now open OBS. OBS is where you can stream or record. You'll first create a scene by clicking the plus in the scene section here, and then you'll add a source which will be Game Capture, and select Live. You'll now see what Live is seeing through OBS. To record, you can set the recording location by going to Settings, Output, Recording Path, and I choose my desktop to find it easier when I'm going to edit. All you need to do now is hit the record button and things will be recording to your location. If you want a stream like this, then you'll have to retrieve a stream key, which is a number you can find in your profile on your specific streaming platform. On Twitch specifically, you can find your stream key after creating an account. You'll get there by going to your creator dashboard, the stream tab, and your stream key will be here, which you'll copy and paste into OBS by selecting settings, stream, and pasting your stream key in. You can click start streaming, which will make you go live on Twitch. Whew, that was a lot of work. Great job. Now, you may be using your controllers to track yourself with Dance Dash, but I personally love full body tracking as it makes it a whole ton smoother. If you're interested in trying out our full body tech, learn more about the Vive Ultimate trackers by checking out this video next.